Welcome back. You are listening to the Mario Mukwanda Show on Salam Media. It is a six minutes past 12. And today on uh, the World of Work segment, we're going to be talking about a veteran being a veterinarian <laughs> or a veterinary surgeon. And uh, to give us the lowdown on that is uh, Dr. Marina Alves Ferreira, who is a vet at the SPCA. Uh, good morning. Uh, no, it's not morning now. It's just it's seven minutes past twelve, so it's good day. A uh, good day, Doctor Marina. Hi. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. How are you today, Doctor Marina? I can see you now. Can you say something okay. quickly? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. I'm doing right, well, so, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining me. What is a veterinarian or um, a veterinary surgeon? The simplest way to explain it is basically an animal doctor. Um, we do the same things as a human doctor. We're actually, one could say, almost a, a jack of all trades. Um, a veterinarian uh, will look at an animal, find out what the, well, the animal will be brought in by an owner. The owner will tell us what's wrong with the animal. We will ask the owner a couple of questions as well. And then we will start examining the, the animal. Veterinarians will do a, what we call a clinical exam, look at the animal properly, um, see if there's anything obvious from the outside where we can see a problem. Um, then from there, we, uh, we determine where they, whether they need x-rays, um, blood tests. Um, and then from there, we, we come up with a diagnosis of a problem and um, we come up with um, ways to solve it um, mm. so that we can uh, so there's a diagnosis and then there's a treatment the treatment can be medication um, it can be um, physiotherapy which is uh, one of the new um, things that are coming up in the veterinary world um, and surgery some some things need to be repaired surgically mm -hmm. now, what skills and qualities are needed to be a vet um, the veterinary course is quite a difficult course to get into. Mm. Um, the requirements, as far as I know, by the, the, the course is offered by the Faculty of Veterinary Science at the University of Pretoria. Um, their requirements are at least um, uh, matric English, matric maths, and matric science. But it is um, there's a lot of competition to get into the course. Mm. So just getting the, the minimum marks doesn't make it. It's very difficult to get in, yeah. Um, and um, the course is uh, the course in itself is quite competitive and it's quite um, quite a hard course because you need mm -hmm. to not only learn about a cat or a dog, we also learn about um, uh, sheep, cattle, horses. So it's not just one species; it's more than one species that we learn about. And um, we do everything from physiology, anatomy. Um, so there's a whole uh, uh, a whole bunch of subjects that that need to get done, and it's quite a, um, a longish course as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, with regards to general work with with um, with a veterinarian, yes. Mm -hmm. So if it's a a competitive yes, um, uh, if it's a competitive uh, industry to get into, uh, what career opportunities are available? What can a person become with uh, that degree? Okay, so there's quite a lot of scope. A lot of people see the, the private vet that treats the cats and the dogs. There's also a private vet that treat horses and cattle and farm animals. Then um, you have your state vets that are involved with controlling um, uh, infectious controlled diseases. Um, so that's on a, on a governmental level. Um, then there's also vets can go into the pharmaceutical industry um they can become specialists um in their field so it's quite a broad um field to go into there's lots of options i mean my lectures were vets so mm -hmm. that's also an option as well um so it's it's quite it's it's a nice career where you can you can find your niche 
Mm-hmm. All right. And um, how, how long does it take? Is it like a, the typical medical um, course where that takes about seven years and uh, I don't know how, 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 what you need to do? And is, is it something like that as well? As, as far as I know, it's, it's very similar to the medical course. As far as I know, the current course is a six-year course. Um, the first year gets done at the at the main faculty of the University of Pretoria, and then from then onwards, they go to um, honor support at the veterinary faculty. Um, and as far as I know, yeah, like I said, it's a six-year course. The best is to contact the University of Pretoria faculty of veterinary science with regards to exactly how much it is, uh, you know, what what um, what the requirements are and how long the course is. But it's very similar to a medical degree. Mm-hmm. Okay, so somebody who has uh, studied medicine, can they decide to become a vet after some years of doing medicine? And they then, would, you know, they would more than great. likely start from the beginning. Oh, okay. So it's not just an, a quick fix of an extra two years here. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you see, even if if um, someone were to ask me to treat a monkey, I'd go, mm, mm. it needs to go to a, a veterinarian that specializes in exotics. So like mm. your birds and your small mammals and monkeys and things like that. There's even a vet that specialize in that as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, uh, all right. So you mentioned what subjects should be taken at the matric. It's the basic English. And uh, what is the pass mark there? What, uh, what is the pass mark that is required? I know, it is? I know on the paperwork at the faculty, they say 60%. Mm-hmm. I would aim for A's. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's it's that competitive. They they would be able to tell you. Be, um, they've got a limited number of students they can take in every year. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, so, what advice would you like to give to our listeners and uh, viewers? Uh, perhaps there might be a uh, matriculant or a grade eleven or even grade ten uh, pupil who is interested in becoming a vet. Veterinary science is a, a very interesting career. Um, I enjoy it because I'm, when an animal gets presented to me with a problem, it's like a, a puzzle I need to solve. Um, and that, that is challenging to me. A lot of people also think that being a vet, you don't have to deal with people. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on, on your personality, um, you have to speak with people because people are the owners of these pets and they're the ones that bring them to you. So you need to be able to um, be comfortable talking to people um, and um, being able to explain things to people because they they are the ones that that will do the treatments on the animals as well if if it's not um, uh, anything major that needs to need hospitalization. Um, Definitely if you're interested in, in, you know, like the maths and the sciences, you don't necessarily need biology for this course, but this definitely helps because it is a biological type of course. Um, so if you like problem solving, if you like animals and you like people, um, it's definitely the way to go. It is a hard career um, in uh, private practice. I'm, I'm currently um, the veterinarian at the Joburg SPCA. Our hours are much shorter. Um, I have um, a family. Um, the most um, vets are now women, so um, the family becomes more important. But in private practice, the hours are long. You work mm-hmm. weekends, so people also need to be aware of that. That um, family time gets a bit squashed in mm-hmm. veterinary science. Um, so you need to find a niche that works for you and your family best. Um, then um, what else? Um, Yeah, a lot of people say you need a passion to become a vet. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, it is definitely a passion career. Um, and it has a lot of challenges. If you like to be challenged, um, then it's, it's something nice to look into. Mm-hmm. All right. A uh, quick question. Have you ever been bitten or attacked by an animal that you were helping? <laughs> Sorry, Mary, I can't hear you. Um, have you been bitten or attacked by an animal that you were helping? <laughs> um, yes, I have. Um, in my final year, um, I got a finger chewed by a patient of mine because I didn't take my hand the right way. 
Um, and um, and then a couple of years later, somehow my finger ended up in a cat that had been hit by a car. Um, so I have had two fingers um, smashed, this um, smashed in, in animal mouths. Um, I have had friends um, kicked by horses. Um, that unfortunately is part of the job. There are risks, um, you know, I know of some vets that have had ringworm. There are there are certain challenges to the job. Mm -hmm. Wow! Hey, that is something else. But uh, every job has its risks as well. So it is what it is. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Marina. Pleasure. All right. So that was Dr. Marina Alves Ferreira, who is a vet at the SPCA in Johannesburg, taking us through uh, the world of work, veterinarian or veterinary surgeon. Um, if you would like to be a vet, uh, you, you can take the course at the University of Pretoria. And uh, good luck, guys. Good luck uh, fighting off the dogs and the cats and the whatever else, the other animals that you will be uh, looking after or treating when you become a vet. Uh, and uh, it is uh, 12, 18 minutes past 12. We will be right back.